Whoever just joined, and I'm sure there will be more people joining us later, we're just about to start. And it's my pleasure to introduce you to Camille. She's International Development Manager at Burgundy School of Business. And today we're going to talk about the bachelor program at Burgundy School of Business. Feel free to drop all of the questions that you might have into the Q&A box, and we will be able to answer them at the end of the presentation. Camille, I'll leave you the floor. Thank you, Federica, and hello, everybody. Uh, so my name is Camille, as you, as you saw. Uh, it is my pleasure today to introduce you to uh, the presentations that I'm going to do about the undergraduate programs. So basically what you can do after high school uh, in English. Uh, so obviously the presentation will be in English, too. Um, and I will make uh, sure that you get all the information you can, but as uh, Federica said, um, please make sure to put any of your question um, in the chat in the, so that I can answer to them, uh, maybe during my presentation, but also at the end of the presentation. Um, and yes, uh, please do not hesitate asking any question about not only the environment, the country, uh, but also the program, the admissions, anything that you want to know. Uh, it is always my pleasure to answer the questions. Um, so don't really, do not hesitate. And hello to everyone who's joining. Okay, so I will share my screen so that you guys can see the presentation that I prepared for you. So here it is. Um, so I will explain to you uh, in a few words. So Burgundy School of Business, we are actually a French business school located in two French cities mainly. And what you can see here is our front entrance. Um, so we say a word of opportunities awaits you. And that's really what I will explain you during this presentation. Uh, you will see, but we really have quite an interesting um, set of assets uh, to present you, but also uh, programs. So first of all, I will start by the country. <laughs> so as I said, we are located in France, and I know that maybe some of you didn't think about France as a country where you can study. Um, uh, France is actually an interesting study destination for a few reasons. Uh, first of all, it is the first non-English speaking country which welcomes international students in the world um, because you, oh, I, I guess all of you know about the USA, the UK, but also Australia, um, Germany is rising also, but France is really, it has a tradition of welcoming international students for a very long time. Uh, you can see here, <coughs> sorry, some pictures of uh, Dijon. So the city we are located in, I will uh, give you a few details about the city in a few minutes. So France, the country, uh, as a country, we are a big economy, which means that you encounter quite a lot of companies and uh, interesting uh, things. So just excuse me for a minute, I have to drink. <laughs> Otherwise my voice will be uh, hard for you to hear. Okay, so we have a lot of companies which are in the Fortune Global 500 ranking, and we have a lot of ground zero. So I don't know if you want to drop a message guessing what a grand école is. So can you guess what it means, grand école in France? In, I give you a hint, in English, it means great school, if you want to. Uh, type it in the chat, feel free to do it. So uh, I will give the answer in a minute, so you have time to guess. Okay, so two great locations that I said, uh, Dijon is the historical campus of the school. You can see here uh, the picture on the side of the screen, it's actually the main uh, square of the city. And Lyon, uh, you have a map of France here to make sure that you see where uh, it is located depending to Paris. Lyon is actually the second biggest French city. Uh, it's called the city of the lights. So you can see it by the picture that we tried to illustrate that it's really uh, what we uh, want to go for. <coughs> Sorry. So uh, you will see that these two cities really have Different vibes, uh, Dijon is more a middle-sized human city, 
where you can do everything within a walking distance. And Lyon, uh, as I said, it's a big city, so you have a lot of companies, a lot of activities, a lot of cultural events happening there. So let's focus on the first one. As I said, Dijon, it's the city where the historical campus has been built. Uh, Dijon is actually the capital of Burgundy. Burgundy is actually the name of the region. And this is why our school has been named Burgundy School of Business, because we are uh, the historical school of the region. So maybe some of you know us for the wine, because we are a very famous wine producing region. Um, Maybe some of you know us for the mustard. Uh, Dijon mustard is really something that I guess is known all around the world. Um, as I showed you uh, earlier in the, in the map of France, Dijon is actually located between Paris and Lyon, almost same distance to both cities, which is one hour and 30 minutes. Um, Dijon, it's a super walkable and safe city. Uh, what's good to know about it is that there are affordable living expenses. Uh, I will come back to it in a minute to show you exactly what it means. Um, but it's really nice to have a place where you can live in the heart of the world's most famous vineyards. It's something unique and I would really encourage you if you want to come and visit. Uh, it's um, even for tourism, it's really something to, to try. Of course, we, we have also uh, a unique uh, gastronomy. So just for you to know, our gastronomy is actually protected by UNESCO as World Heritage. So we have really special dishes, uh, very special uh, things that you could try that are super nice. Uh, maybe some of you know the beef bourguignon. It's really something from our region. And as you see on the picture, you also have a lot of green spaces which are close to the city. So uh, if you want to have fresh air and uh, live in a not polluted area, it's really interesting for you. A few other pictures of Dijon. So we were a city that, um, uh, if our, um, which had our architecture is really outstanding. So you see that in the pictures that uh, we put here. Um, Maybe also you have uh, already seen these uh, roofs for, with uh, the, the designs, ge geometrical designs like this. Often it's red, green, uh, yellow, and black, but it's really typical of the region, and I personally think it's super beautiful. Um, we put also a picture of, it's actually one of our students with a bike because it's a super bikeable city. Um, and as I said, not only the gastronomy, but also the climate of our region is protected by UNESCO. And this is why we can actually produce this uh, outstanding wine that I mentioned earlier. So it's really a unique experience uh, to visit Dijon. As I said, I would, if you have the opportunity to come in France, uh, I know it's not um one of the biggest French cities but it's really a super nice place to live I've been living here myself for 20 years over 20 years now actually so I really love it so now let's go uh with the second option that you have which is a study in Lyon Lyon as I said it's the second biggest French city it's super big um and there you can actually study um, some of our programs. The one I'm presenting today, of course, you can study there. And what I can tell you is that we actually opened this campus less than a year ago, a few months ago. Uh, we launched it and the students were super excited. The area is great and it's really a nice place to study. There, we also teach uh, cutting edge programs and uh, expertise like artificial intelligence and digital technology management, but also green tech and sustainable societies. Um, these actually match what companies expect in terms of skills for students once they are done with their studies. And here you have some pictures of the campus. Lyon as a city, uh, here you have some illustration. It's such a great place uh, if, you, if you really have a chance 
um, you will see that it's a really modern um, city. Um, it has a strong uh, industrial heritage. Um, actually, a lot of companies were created there and stayed there for this reason. It's also a big innovation hub for whole of Europe. And uh, there are a lot of a lot a lot of job opportunities there, the, which is the reason why we chose it as a city to to open the new campus, uh, because we wanted our students to have options and to have possibilities that would add up to what we already have in vision. Also, if you really like uh, to hang out, to have a very um, strong cultural life outside of the studies and um, it's a good city for you because there are a lot of international students obviously it's a big city so it goes with it okay so now let's go to what we offer as a school and then i will dive into the details of the program uh, so bsb we are actually an international grand école so i hope you guessed grand école i told you it means great school um, actually, uh, Grand École, uh, what does it mean? It means we are part of, you can see the logo at the bottom here, Conférence des Grandes Écoles, which means conf Conference of the Great Schools. It gathers the 38 best uh, business and engineering schools of France. And, and that's why we call our programs, some of them are called Grand École for this reason, because we are part of this very exclusive group. Uh, of course, uh, it is not the only recognition we have. Uh, we are known for our uh, outstanding teaching and research quality. And we have the double international accreditation, AACSB and EQUIS. So these accreditations are actually accredited the schools as a whole, not only one or two programs here and there. So that's why we are among the top 1% of business schools in the world, thanks to these two accreditations. Um, that's, as, as I said, for the whole world. And then related to France only. So depending on the rankings, we are ranked 15th or 14th best, up to 30th best business school in France. So we are in the top 10 to 15, depending on the, on the rankings. There are many rankings, as you know. The one we like to use is the Financial Times ranking because obviously... It's one of the most renowned worldwide, but also it's one of the most objective uh, rankings that we have. But just for you to know, it's important to notice that there are a lot of business schools in France, and a lot of them are actually not accredited, not recognized by the state. So they do not deliver you a real diploma that has a strong value for your future. So I would simply uh, recommend that you do your research about the recognition of the school you are aiming. Uh, you want to maybe join and the recognition also of the diploma, which are two different things. On our side, we are very proud to have the highest recognition, not only for the school, but also for the programs. Uh, we have some videos on our YouTube channel that I linked in the presentation, so I will not be able to show them to you now. But um, you can go to our YouTube channel and check why we are the international students from so many different countries uh, chose to join us uh, in the past so that maybe uh, you can have their insights. Uh, back to what I said about Grandes Écoles, so great schools, only 2% of international students in France study at the Grande Ecole. It means that it's very exclusive. As I said, it's very, um, for you, it's a way to differentiate yourself. Um, so if you want to have something that others don't, if you want to have a very strong employability right after the studies, this is something that you maybe you can consider for your future. Also, uh, if you're in this presentation, it means you probably are in high school at the moment or are about to finish high school or have just finished high school. I know it's always a tough moment because um, you have so many possibilities coming to your mind. Uh, maybe the parents and the students, they don't have the same opinions on what to do with the, the future. So this is really a, something I would push you to do some research about. 
um, and and maybe go for it if that's your thing. So um, our goal as a school is to get you graduated, of course, uh, is that we want to give you the diploma that you are applying for when you arrive. But we also want to make sure that you have the best employability possible. For this, we have actually an internal service, which is called BSB Career Booster. And this service is, it's a department with several people. Their um, number one goal is to have the best corporate relations possible. So there are a, a total of seven coaches helping you in French, English, Spanish, and German at all times. So you can take as many appointments as you want with them um, individually or with a group. There are over uh, 3,000 hours of personalized coaching that you can have during your studies. Again, it really depends on the persons. Maybe you will need more help with your resume. Maybe some other student will need more help in doing a good oral motivation interview. There are a lot of things that are possible. In this slide, you can see that I put some screenshots of the website that we have in which you can take all these appointments. It's, only, it's a BSB website, as you see. So it's only for our students. Um, and that's where you can really have everything you need related to your future or current career. The, uh, well, at the moment I wrote the point point there are 9,000 internships. Now we have 12,000 internships for our students. Uh, I have to say that we have 3,000 students. So it means that we have quite a lot of options over there. Um, at the moment, I can tell you that this is the first year that we have the issue that our partner companies do not have enough BSB graduates. So the power is in your hands. Honestly, it's never been more the case and it's really something that is outstanding. Of course, there are job opportunities also. Here in this website, you will also have the list of all the workshops, the guest speakers, any professional event basically that BSB is organizing with the partners. There are a minimum of three events per week. So either in person or remotely. So honestly, there are a lot of possibilities. It really depends on which um, career you want to go. For example, do you want to go for a finance oriented career, marketing oriented career? But there are a lot, a lot of options. Of course, uh, I didn't mention it, but I am actually a gra uh, graduated from Burgundy School of Business. So I did the Master in Management and the Bachelor. So the program I will be presenting today, I did it. Um, so I have to talk about the alumni network, <laughs> which I'm part of. The alumni network is super helpful for you. Why? Because having access to a network of people who actually did their studies at BSB and who really want to help you with your career is really something that will uh, give you a lot of support in addition to what the school provides you. For example, if you want to work in such company and you know your future boss is a BSB graduate, maybe you can uh, have more chances of getting the job. And that's for sure because the um, alumni really like their experience at BSB Soft and they are more than willing to help you with uh, launching your career. Okay, so let's dive into the program details. So I hope that uh, it will be enough details. If not, please leave a comment and I will make sure to give you the most uh, details that I can. Okay, so the program that you can do after high school at Burgundy School of Business is called the Bachelor in Management. It is a three-year undergraduate program enabling students to acquire a 360 degree vision of uh, today's business environment. So what does it mean? So first of all, it means that's what you do after high school. This I think I said, and it was understood. In Europe, but also in France, um, the bachelors last three years. I know in some countries it's four, sometimes five. It is three years, but it has the same recognition as a four-year bachelor degree. 
um, this little logo that you see at the top here is actually means that we are accredited by the, min the Ministry of Education, um, that this diploma is recognized not only in France, but also worldwide. So what makes this program different? Um, we only do face-to-face -face classes, even at the moment. Uh, we went back to entirely face-to-face -face education with um, small classrooms, just like when you are uh, in high school. So we only have 40 students maximum per class. Um, the goal being that you have this really strong relationship with the teacher and you make sure that you have the right follow-up for you. Um, because we wanted, as I said, to give you the best employability, we, in, we included the internships of the program. So we say up to 13 months of internship for the best employability. The internships actually happen during summertime each year, at the end of each year. So because the program lasts three years, each year you have at the during the summer, you will have an internship to do. And 25% of our students are international on this program. Uh, overall, we have between um, 25 and 33% of international students at BSB. Uh, as I think you saw that earlier, but 70 different nationalities. Also, this environment is really important for you because you will uh, learn how to communicate with different cultures, to work with different cultures, because we'll have a lot of group work to do with your classmates. So I would say that this is also an important part of the experience. Languages. So I mentioned that earlier, but of course, this program can be entirely taught in English. If you want to go for the English taught uh, track, we will offer you free French classes so that um, we make sure that you also feel comfortable in your daily life with going to the groceries, speaking to uh, the French people, the French classmates. So we will offer you free French classes. Speaking French is not a requirement though. So if you do not speak any French, it's not a problem to apply. Uh, we will teach you once you're there. Of course, this program is also available entirely in French if any of you is interested. If so, the second language will be English. So it's the other way around, basically. Um, about the tuition fees. So uh, for the three-year course, which is the only one I'm talking about today, it's 8,200 per year. As I said, it's three years. So you have to multiply it by three, uh, which is quite affordable compared to the destinations that I mentioned, which are USA, UK, and probably Australia. So this is why I think if you uh, correlate the cost to what you get, um, it's something to look at. But then again, I really advise you to do your own research and make your own opinion about this. So I'm switching to uh, the details of the program. So I explained to you that this is quite a generalist program that will give you an overall vision of what happens in the company. And as you understood, it's a three-year program. Once this program is done, you have two choices. Either you look for a job and you stop your studies. I have to say that most students today go for a master's degree afterwards. So in any case, whatever your choice is, just be free in your mind that you can continue your studies at BSB if you want, or in any other um, school, in France, in Europe, worldwide, uh, USA, China, whatever, because our program is fully recognized, you will be sure that you can continue your studies anywhere else, if that's your plan. So uh, back to the details of the program. Um, the idea was to give uh, students this generalist vision of what happens in the company. But we didn't want to be too generalist anyway. So that's why in the last year of the program, we actually get, um, we added a specialization. So in the third year, you can choose one of the six specializations that we have, depending on the language and the location that you chose. Okay. So I won't dive into details, but you have international business management, wine tourism sustainable business management, digital management, business development, 
luxury marketing. That gives you an idea already. And of course, uh, because everything is included in the tuition fees, you can study for a semester or even a year abroad. Um, most of the students, they take a semester abroad. So you can go to one, we have 215 business, par um, sorry, <laughs> partner institutions worldwide. So we have a lot of partner universities with which we do exchange programs for the semester. So that's also something that you can add to a resume once you get graduated and that can really help you with having this international exposure that I already mentioned. So yes, I hope uh, that was clear. If you have any question about that, feel free to drop a message in the Q&A uh, chat. Okay, so I know this is not um, the purpose of this <laughs> presentation, but because we are located in Burgundy and in Dijon, and because we have this uh, chance of uh, having this expertise, I wanted to tell you, in case you are interested in learning this, that we have a business school inside the business school, which is called School of Wine and Spirits Business. You saw that we are in the best, world's best probably vineyard. And so we get the chance to have business and management programs about wine and spirits. And we are very proud because we are ranked first in this category. So if you want to immerse yourself in over 2000 years of wine culture, that's probably the best place to do it, basically. But you can see by the pictures, it's really so, you, you are really in the best environment to study this. And the faculty that we have is uh, probably among the world's highest recognition that you can think of. We have masters of wine. We also have very high level, um, highly recognized professionals. So we have this mix between theory and practice that's super interesting. And as you saw, you have a, you, even at the bachelor level, you can start studying wine and spirits because we have wine tourism specialization. Uh, I just wanted to give you some insights about this in case some of you are interested and you know that you can study this also at the postgraduate level. Uh, that's quite unique. So that's good for you to know that it exists. Okay, back to the campus in Dijon. Um, actually, I didn't mention it, but we are one of the oldest business schools in the world. Uh, we were founded in 1899. You have some pictures here of the campus in Dijon. We have a lot of different uh, learning spaces. We have a gym, we have a dance hall, we have a music studio. Actually, <clears throat> our um, uh, idea and approach was to make sure that you as a student do not only grow inside of the classroom, but also you need uh, different things to uh, learn uh, outside of the classroom. Uh, so that's why we push our students to have at least one sports or one art activity. At BSB, uh, we propose a lot of, of them. Uh, we also have the entrepreneurial garden. So we have an incubator for those of you who want to launch their own company or retake an existing company. Uh, this is a big uh, advantage that we do have. Um, each campus that we have is located in the city center. So you get also this, um, I would say, a feeling of belonging to a city. And you know, some of the, well, most of the campuses in France, they are located outside of the city, like 20 minutes away. But us, no, we, you are in the middle of the city, you have this feeling of belonging. Uh, you don't have to commute for hours every day. So that's something that our students particularly enjoy. And as I said, we have innovative environments. So we have a 3D machine. We have the entrepreneurial garden for those who want to create their own companies. Um, we have a lot of, um, also obviously we have different tools to make sure that you learn as much as you can uh, wherever you are. Uh, what does it mean? It means if you want to communicate with students who are in the other campus or with staff which is, uh, who is in the other campus or anything, we have these uh, movable huge uh, tablets which are amazing. Um, we also have, um, we also have 
um, different areas depending on what you want to specialize in to help you grow with your um, career goals or your future projects, whatever they are. Um, so that's why I wanted to show you. Now I will dive into the details of the admissions for those who might be interested. Um, so feel free to ask me any additional question in the chat also if that's uh, you want details about this. So how do you how can you apply for a BSP? It's really simple. We tried at least to make it very simple. Um, so you go to our website and you just click on apply now. It's pretty much everywhere. Uh, so I will give you the URL of the website in a minute. You just have to fill in the application form and follow the steps that we design for you. It's quite simple. So we will ask you for your identity. What uh, is your academic background? Do you have any professional background? We will ask also for a set of attachments like a resume or cover letter, uh, transcripts. Um, yeah, this, this type of attachments basically. Um, of course, we will require you to pay a small application fee to validate your application file. And then you have to pass a 20 minute oral motivation interview, um, which is through an app. So we send you a link to do that. It's quite simple, honestly. You can apply at any time because we have rolling admissions. Um, but the global application deadline is 15th of July, 2022. So you still have time, you're not late, if some of you are wondering. Um, but I always tell everyone not to wait until last minute to apply because uh, you could be in a situation where you do not have everything you need at the last minute. So the earlier, the better. Why also the earlier, the better? Because we have a set of scholarships dedicated only to international students. And the scholarships, they are merit-based. So we give them to the most um, outstanding students. Um, they are for all programs. So whatever program you apply for, you can have a scholarship. And the scholarships, they are between 25 up to 50% of the tuition fees. So it can be interesting. Um, yeah, and as we give the scholarships in the order of arrival, of course, the earlier you apply, the higher the chances for you to get this scholarship. Okay, so back to the uh, admission process. So let's say you finish your application, everything goes well. You pass the motivation interview, what happens next? So it is step two here. So you will receive your acceptance. Um, so please make sure to check your emails uh, to make sure that you do not miss um, the notification that we sent you. And we will require you to pay a small deposit um, in order for you to make sure that we save your seat in the classroom. You understood I said earlier that the, we only do face-to-face -face, uh, courses in small classrooms of 40 students. It has a lot of pros, but the con is that we have to make sure that we organize ourselves and make sure that we know exactly who is coming to our school or not. For this reason, we have this, this deposit. Paying the deposit actually confirms the final acceptance. Um, so it means you are registered to BSB and yeah, you are officially a student. Then once this is done, you still have two steps to do. You have to book two official appointments. The first one is Campus France. And the second one is uh, the embassy or the consulate for your visa. You have to do it in that exact order and not the other way around. So first, admission of the school. Second, campus friends, third, embassy. Otherwise, it doesn't work. <laughs> so just be careful with this order. And final step, of course, is to prepare your arrival so you can book your accommodation. For accommodation, we do have a, our own online uh, booking platform uh, in which there is a list of accommodations that our students already took. So it's always good for you. Of course, you can take any accommodation that you want. And then you have to book your flat and get ready for the orientation and the induction weeks that we prepare for you. So that's it pretty much. I hope I didn't speak too much. Um, I finished my presentation now. 
Um, I just wanted to tell you that I'm not alone. Uh, we have quite a team with me and we are all here to help. We are from, we speak eight different languages. We have six nationalities, but we say we are hundred percent available for you. <laughs> um, so you have here a view of my team and we are here to answer your question. Um, if you want more details, you can reach out to us anytime. And here is the important URLs that you might need. So the one of the website I mentioned in order to apply and our email. Um, okay, so I hope I didn't speak too much for too long <laughs> and I will now answer your questions, I guess. So thank you for your attention. Thank you, Camille. Thank you so much. This has been great. So yes, there were some questions that arrived. Some of them we actually already sort of answered during the presentation, but it might be good to go through them. And of course, for all of you that are connected, in case you have any other questions, drop them into the Q&A box. We are here to answer them. Um, sure. One of the first question is regarding campuses. So someone says, I saw maybe on the website that you have a campus in Paris. Can you study there? And also asking if there is the option to have a dormitory or similar. So maybe if you have accommodation mm -hmm. on campus. Yes, so this is a good question. We actually have a campus in Paris, uh, but it is only for one of our postgraduate programs in arts and cultural management. So that's why I didn't mention it here because it, it's not uh, related to the program I'm presenting today. So that's why I emphasized on the two available campuses that we have for this program, which is Dijon and Lyon. Um, so this program, Bachelor in Management, is not available in Paris, if that answered the question. And then second part of the question about the accommodation. So because our school is very old, you saw we were built in 1899, uh, so 120, over 120 years ago. Uh, at the time, dorms were not built. <laughs> so we do not have dorms, but as I said, we are located in city centers and we have our own online booking platform for accommodations. So uh, it means that we do have student style accommodation, which are among the cheapest, probably the cheapest you can find uh, in France, in both cities, uh, but we do not have dorms per se on the campus. So I hope it answers the question. Yes, thank you. Um, you actually said it, but let's say one more time. Do you need to learn French or you're actually fine with only English? Yeah, so you do not have to have previous um, knowledge of French language to apply. Um, if you have, it's always something good to mention in your application because it can help but it's not like it's a requirement. So we do not require you to know any French language. In any case, we will offer all our non-French students free French classes so that they can feel comfortable in their daily life. It's still something to add on your resume too. And, and also, you know, to do, do your shopping, do the groceries. Um, so if, if you already know some French, we'll be in a more advanced uh, group too. So yeah, that's it. Thanks. Um, someone was asking about the background. So someone says, I didn't study much mathematics in high school. Should I prepare for an admission test? So maybe if someone during the high school decided for a path that they didn't involve much economics or mathematics, is there an issue in order to apply for this bachelor program? Sure, it is a good question. Um, so we do not require you to have any background actually to apply what we ask you as an institution is to have your high school diploma so whether it is ib any so we know also each country is very different so there are national diploma curriculums there are uh, uk based curriculums there are different types of curriculums uh, in high school so whatever um subject you chose and whatever curriculum you had, you can apply. And um, this is why we ask you during your application um, to give us the, the transcripts because we want to look at what you studied, want to look at what exact type of diploma you have. In any case, you can apply, but 
uh, as I said, we are open to any application and then we will uh, we will see who we admit depending on the applications. So yeah, that's how it works. And how many places actually are there? So it's like a CAPS number that you only accept a certain number of students or? Yes, so overall, uh, that's how it works. So uh, we have seats, a number of seats, as I said, because we have this small classroom thing that we really want to keep and that students really enjoy, honestly. So um, we want to stay with that system. Uh, so we have a limited number of seats. Um, to this day, we are totally good. So you can, there is plenty of room for any people who want to register now. Um, as I said, we just are closing our applications mid July. So just don't wait last minute. Like even June is a little bit already late, but people who are joining us today were mid January. So it's not an issue at all. Um, so we have a limited number of seats, not only for international students, but also for French students, because we that's the way we work. But uh, no worries, you still have plenty of time. <laughs> Perfect. Um, Mariana is writing us from Venezuela and asking if there are some sorts of scholarships in place for international students. Yes. So um, I explained it a little bit late in the presentation, so that might be why. So let me re-explain. We have a set of merit-based scholarships. We have 70 scholarships, actually, uh, dedicated only to international students and for all the programs of BSB, Bachelor in Management being one of them. So if you want to apply, you have all chances of getting the scholarship. Um, the best way to do it is to have the best application possible. So making sure the attachments are very good, resume and cover letter mostly, but also, as I said, the transcript and the copy of the diploma will look at that in details. And our team also uh, can help you prepare with the oral motivation interview to make sure that you are well prepared and well aware of the details on how to do that. I know it's not an easy exercise, so um, we are really here to help you with that. Uh, don't hesitate. If you need support, that's our pleasure to help. Perfect. When you say, uh, you know, make sure that the application stands out with a good application, yes. is there anything in particular that a student should be, be aware of or look at when they put an application through? So what's the most important is the resume. So I know a lot of people don't are not really aware on how to do a good resume, uh, but it's the first thing that everyone, us, the admission office, but also the, the teachers, the head of the programs will look at. Uh, second thing will be the cover letter. So the cover letter is actually a motivation letter um, explaining why you want to come study at BSB, what is, uh, even if we know you are very young, so we know your career goals might be a little bit undecided, but we want you to explain the logic of why you chose these studies, why you chose this path, and how you plan your future. Um, so that's the main idea, and why maybe you chose our school, not another school, this program in particular, what really made you say, okay, this part of the program is really something that I thought was interesting for such and such reason. It can also be a personal reason. So that's why we like, for example, okay, I wanted to travel to such partner university. I saw you have a partnership with them. So I chose you for this reason. It can be anything really. So um, we just want to genuinely know uh, why you want to come. Uh, so that's it. And yeah, I mean, the transcripts, it's not like you can change them. So <laughs> the resume and cover letter. Perfect. Um, Gabriela from Ecuador says, like, I still have a few years to finish my high school. So kind of, you know, get prepared in advance. Asking uh -huh. if the program will still be live in a few years. Is it like a oh. <laughs> statement program? Is it something that you believe is going to change? No. So this program has been existing for decades. Uh, so. What we do though, is that each year we slightly change the content of the modules, uh, but the program will remain the same. Why do we change slightly some elements? It's because we wanna make sure that the skills that you acquire during the, the curriculum is, are going to match what the companies expect. 
So that's why sometimes we change slightly some modules. Again, it's very minor changes I'm talking about. So that's the difference you might see uh, if you want to check the program in two or three years time. The title will be the same, the content, everything will be the same, but some details. But yes, it will always be there, I hope so. <laughs> And speaking, I mean, Gabrielle actually said, like, you know, I still have a couple of years or a year to finish my high school. So in your experience in general, how early should someone start to look at this or her option for a bachelor course? Mm -hmm. So I would say that planning one year ahead is good. Uh, let me explain why. So as I said, we know also as schools that you, because you're young and you you don't necessarily know exactly what you want to do in your future. And that's why this program is positioned as generalist to make sure it opens all the doors for you. Um, and when you don't know what you want to do, but you know you want to have a job in a company, that's what you want to go for. Because if you start by specializing too much, then you will be narrowed to only a few options. And if you're not 100% sure, that's not really what you want, right? So I would say that that's one thing. I, second, uh, I said it a lot during my presentation, but I really think it's the best. Uh, with your parents, I think it's really important that you do your own research because I'm saying things, uh, but I mean, <laughs> I don't tell you not to trust me because <laughs> obviously, but you will listen to a lot of people. Every school will tell you they're number one. Every school will tell you uh, they're such and such. But I mean, doing your own research and making sure that what you're being told is true is super important. You can do it alone. You can do it with your parents. I think it's very important to have also a discussion with your family because, I mean, uh, this. I think it's good that you take the time to talk to school's representatives, just like me because that's how you get the feeling of how people are like in the school actually. Um, and that can make a big difference because for example, I know we are considered a small school with 3000 students, but not everyone wants to be in a super huge uh, campus uh, with 20,000 people because you want to be someone and you want to be recognized. Some other people want a standardized education and that's totally fine. So that's why it's a matter of you finding the best school and the school finding the best students. And this takes time. Um, it, it, I always say, you know, in your life, you will have a lot of different jobs. You can always find a, a job that you don't really mind. Like you can change jobs easily. Your education, you cannot change your education. So it's a big deal. It's something to choose wisely. Yeah. That's a very good point. <laughs> Thank you. Before you were mentioning luxury marketing and someone is actually wondering, what do you mean by luxury marketing? What is the program about? What is different than the normal, let's say, marketing? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, maybe you should ask yourself what makes uh, such brand a luxury brand. For example, you take a brand of clothing A and a brand of clothing B a is H&M and B is um, Gucci, let's say. <laughs> what makes the difference? Of course, their marketing is totally different, right? I take this as an example because these are brands that everyone knows, I guess. <laughs> so you can imagine that if you want to work in the luxury um, industry, the marketing approach, so marketing, what is it? It is how to sell the product, kind of, right? That's the science of how to... Uh, sell the product. So uh, how do you sell a product of Gucci when you know how, well, it's related to, uh, also some people have different visions of what luxury means. <laughs> so that can be discussed, but that's just to give you an idea of why it is totally different. So if you want to go for a luxury uh, oriented career, for example, if you want to work in high end high-end brands like uh, Chanel, anything, not only French, but I mean, in Italy, I think they're number one competitor in that sense, I guess. <laughs> uh, um, we ha you have to have a special approach in order to work in this field. So that's why we made it a specialization. 
And we made it a specialization also for postgraduate programs. We have an MSc, a Master of Science called Luxury Marketing and Innovation. So just so you know. Perfect. Maria connected a little bit later and says that if the program actually uh, also has an internship like uh, mandatory and also uh, wondering if after the bachelor you can find a job so it is like if it's uh, enough let's say or is it actually okay. better to continue with the master I guess for like work purposes or similar sure um, so first question was about the internships so for the bachelor in management um, uh, what I explained was that it's a three-year generalist program Okay, um, so at the end of each academic year, which, is, which means every summertime, basically, uh, we will ask you to do an internship. Why? Because often when you start an undergraduate program, you have no professional experience and it's normal because you are 18 or 18 years old, 17 or 18 years old. And so at the end of the program, you would have three experiences. Well, some, the first one will be small because the first one will be two months. The second one will be four months and the third one will be six months internship. As I said, it happens during each summer. So it's not in replacement of courses, which some schools do by the way, but it's in addition and making sure that you have theory and practice. We did this because we wanted to give you the best employability, the best professional exposure. I have to be frank, today, most students, they go for a master program after bachelor, because today, if you want to be a manager, you have to have a master's degree in most companies. A bachelor is not enough anymore. If you don't want to be a manager, but you just want to have a regular employ, uh, job in a, any company, you can definitely stop after the bachelor in management, uh, obviously. Um, of course, you can also start working and go for a master in management later in your life, which more and more people do today. So that's totally okay. You really have, have the, the, the two options, I would say. So, but as I said, most students today go for a master in management degree afterwards. And I just wanted to clarify that with this bachelor, then they can apply to, of course, a master at Burgundy, but any master, right? In any 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 master program anywhere in the world, uh, in France, well, in our school, but also in other schools in France, in USA, in China, uh, uh, anywhere basically, because the program is fully recognized. Yeah. But Perfect. So we are coming towards the end of our presentation and I just wanted to remind whoever is connected that we will send out an email after this event. So there will be like some contact details or some extra information about the Bachelor. So we know it's a lot of information to take in in only one presentation. So, you know, feel free to take your time to have a look at the brochure. And as you can see, Camille, but also her team, she showed us um, picture in the uh, presentation so the team is available at any time uh, to answer all of the questions that you might have uh, but just before closing I just wanted to ask you Camille if there was anything else that you wanted to highlight or tell our audience today yeah Sure. So as I said, take really your time to do your own research um, on your side, making, for example, this is a first maybe time you hear about what I said. So take time to digest this information. Maybe a second step could be, uh, I think, um, you know, diving into each school's website gives you a lot of information about how they position themselves. Reading the brochures can be a good idea. Because today I didn't, uh, I, I couldn't go into the details of the curricula, but so that you know what exactly um, is included in each year, the type of modules that you have. Um, also, it's always good to see examples of alumni because maybe, as I said, you don't know what you want to do in your future, but seeing examples can be very inspiring. Um, we have this YouTube channel that I mentioned. It's really good to see examples of current students, but also uh, graduates. Uh, it can always help. Uh, you can also reach out to them because uh, they're super happy to always help prospective students with their experience. 
So that's nice for you. Uh, so I know it's a lot of work to find the best education for your future, but it's super important and we are fully at your disposal to give you any type of information about the school, the program, the environment, the admissions, anything. So feel free to reach out to me or any of my team members so that we can help you with this. So I hope I answer all the questions, by the way. <laughs> you did. There was just okay. one more question asking about if the lessons will be in English or in French. And if you would just want to remind these one more time. No problem. So the programs that I introduced are fully available in English. If so, we will uh, ask you to follow French classes in addition, as I said, which we which are for free. So we, we offer you free French classes in addition. You can fully have the program 100% English taught or have it French taught and English lessons in addition for those who already know French, if anyone is in that case. So both cases are okay and we have both possibilities. Perfect. So I just shared in the chat another link. Just, you know, you can, if you fill in the form, you can receive a certificate of attendance for this uh, webinar from Doc City. And then I wanted to, you know, remind you all that in case, you know, you connected later or, you know, you had some connecting issue that you couldn't stay for the, long, the length of the webinar, there's no problem because we will be sending you an email after the event. We will be including the recording of the event and any useful information and an email address that you can reach out to in case you have any further question. So I wanted to thank Camille for her time. And we actually have in um, around a month time another webinar for the postgraduate degree. So in case you know you might be also wondering what sort of academic offering it might be early for some of you, but in case you're offering we are interested, we will be you know, inviting you to attend that webinar as well. And we look forward to seeing you soon. And thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining and thanks Camille for your time. Thank you Federica and thank you everyone for joining and for your attention. Uh, it was great and hope to see you soon then. Perfect, thank you, thanks, bye. Bye.